Welcome! In this video, you'll learn how to solve the following College Board practice problem. If you find this video helpful, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe for the newest SAT math problems. Lastly, if there's something you have a question about, feel free to ask it in the comments below. Without further ado, let's do this! If x is greater than 3, which of the following is equivalent to the expression below? Now that we've read the problem, let's note the key rules and information. 1. x is greater than 3. This information is actually kind of useless. The only limitations to x that you should care about is making sure that x doesn't equal negative 2 or negative 3. The reason why? Well, if x equaled either of those numbers, we would end up with a zero in the denominator, and that's going to be no solution automatically. So that's a no-no. Beyond that, they ask us to find something equivalent to this expression. Huh, what should we do here? If you guess that we're going to make this expression simpler, you're 100% correct. This expression is ugly, but with our understanding of Algebra 2, we're going to give it a stellar makeover. The easiest way of approaching this problem is to join the fractions on the bottom. We'll make x plus 2 times x plus 3 the common denominator here, and multiply the missing factor to each numerator. From there, we'll join the fractions and then combine like terms in the numerator. We now have a single fraction at the bottom. The secret to moving on from here is to recognize that fractions are actually divisions. Great Scott! In this case, we have 1 divided by the bottom fraction. Now that it's written horizontally, we can easily see that all we need to do is flip the fraction and multiply. Now it's one solid fraction. Last but certainly not least, let's boil the top of the fraction. And that's our final answer. And that's it. Great job putting the work in. Like this video to let me know that it helped you out and keep prepping for your SAT with the rest of my breakdowns. Later!